Hello everyone, my name is Shuck and Not Stirred. And my name is Supermaster K1. And this is our Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series. Every week we'll be opening up a box of either a core set or a side set of Yu-Gi-Oh! product and just keep going in chronological order till we've got nothing left. The winner of that week will be spinning a prize wheel with some fun and interesting stuff to help beef up our decks over time. But that's enough explanation. Without further ado, this is the TikTok Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series. Alright, so we're on a two-game win streak. Dead Rat seems to be the strategy to go, but I might try to do something different if I can. If not, we'll just stick with Dead Rat because I don't want Val to be able to just easily side against it. But for right now, we got another win, so we need another spend the prize bill. But before we get started with that, since we are moving into the GX era, we are gonna be refilling we're gonna be adding three more redoer tickets. I know we probably didn't use many at all, if any, during there, but Yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, we're going to be adding in three more redoer tickets per generation, so next time this will happen will be with the Duelist Genesis, and then Generation Force, and so on, so on. But yeah, no, let's spin, spin the wheel, give it a couple clicks, and see what we get. Huh. Super rare wild card. What on earth can I get out of Dark Revelations 1 that would be that good? Um, so looking in the rare slot, there ain't much here. Um, super rare, hmm. Hmm. Part of me is saying another copy of DD Warrior Lady, and that might be the correct answer, but I'm going to take this opportunity. Is that really what I want to do? Is there anything in the common slot that I missed out on? I never picked up, I never got a copy of Kaiser Coliseum. Huh. That might be the way to go, because this card is banned, stays banned, literally has literally no sets after... It was in the Sacred Beast structure deck? Really? Huh. Like, it literally does not get reprinted after Dark Revelation Volume 1. Which is wild. So, at least to my knowledge, it does not get banned. Or not get, uh, come back until structure deck sacred beast, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah. I'm going to take a copy of Kaiser Coliseum for the collection. And we're going to move on to the Lost Millennium. It is time to get your game on. We're in the Lost Millennium. I am so happy to be exactly here. So we've got things like Brain Control. This is our first GX set, by the way. We've got Brain Control. We've got Hyraco Sphinx. I love Hyraco Sphinx. Uh, Mega Rock Dragon could be hilarious. Master Monk exists. It's a card that exists in this world. However, other things we've got are Ancient Gear Golem. The Ancient Gears premiere here. There's some interesting flip control stuff here, too. But we've also got, like, the beginnings of Elemental Hero. But most importantly, we've got the beginnings of Macro Control. We've got DD Survivor. And if, we, if I pull Macro Control, I don't know what to tell you. I'm playing it. Like, it would require some stuff, but I, I would get there. Let's see what all we got in the common slot, because most of the cards in this set are truthfully, like, not that notable. If you, if you ever watch Junior Journey, not Junior Journey, uh, Progression Playoffs, they played things like Millennium Scorpion and Grave Oja and stuff like that because they were limited to the cards from this pack, which led to some very interesting stuff. For us, this pack is mostly useless. However, Death Wombat does exist. Which is fun and interesting. Uh, other than that, I'm mostly looking for the DD survivors, I guess. Uh, Grave Oja's not exactly terrible. 
as long as like if you've got a face down, it's non-targetable. But if you flip summon something, you deal 300 to your opponent. So if you're playing something like a flip control deck, that could be interesting. Uh, Kozuki's self-destruct button is very funny. Other than that, I guess we've got Ray Chef, the Dark Being, which could be very funny if I pull it. But yeah, other than that, let's get to the pity packs and see what we can do. Five packs of tournament, pack six, let's do it! You know, between episodes, Shuckle and I were talking, and we said that there is one card from this pack that could prove to be an issue. Can you guess what that card could be? Last turn. Because I do have Jaugen the Spiritualist. I could last turn, make sure he can't special summon anything for last turn, and just win the game. Ryu Senshi's actually pretty good. That's not bad. Okay. Another Ryu Senshi, another last turn. And a third Ry Ryu Senshi. Okay, I'm not upset about this, actually. And what's in the last pack? What do we get? Was that Doc Bolter the Terrible? It sure was. Let's add these to our collection. That was oddly good tournament pack pulls. And let's get to the pack, the Lost Millennium. 24 packs of the Lost Millennium. Let's go! So, we've got the beginnings of the Elemental Heroes. We've got Clayman and Avian. And we've got Sparkman, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot the Charmers were here. Let's see here. Nah, not much going on here. Dummy Golem is funny, though. Actually, Dummy Golem's not bad, the more I think about it. There's Doriato. First Death Wombat. We've got Card of Sanctity. That's interesting, but I'm not going to play it. The super rare winged Karibo. Alrighty, that's something. Final Ritual of the Ancients. I see Cryo Sphinx. I also saw White Ninja. There's Grave Oja. Let's see here. If I pull zero DD Survivor, I will respend this pack. I will waste a ticket on this pack. With no hesitation. Ray Chef the Dark Being. Okay, that's funny. How have I not seen a single DD Survivor? You have to be kidding me. You know, let's use our first respin ticket just to say we did. Let's let's do this again. I'm not adding this to my collection. Let's go again. All right, and here we are with the Lost Millennium. There's not really a whole lot I'm looking for in this set. Um, maybe a couple things here and there. I'll point them out when we see them. If we see them. So flip them up. Well. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman right off the bat. Um, this could be fine later on, but right now I don't really see anything. This is also where we see the Battery Men pop up. Um, getting uh, placed in a double A will be pretty important. So hopefully we get that done. I think we're going to be fine. Um, we also get Maui Interceptor Cannons, which is fine. It just kind of resets itself and is a 2000 beat stick. But other than that, like this is a this is a very rock set. This is like this is the the rock monster archetype. And there's our place at a Batterman double A within the first three packs. Awesome. Uh, then there's Bursinatrix as well, as well as a hero signal. Um, if we get enough heroes, I might consider playing heroes for like a one time only. Um, this is also where we see the introduction of the ancient years. Oh, and to my immediate left, I notice 
king of the skull servants um i don't know if we can play skull servants uh skull servants is one of those decks that kind of just gets better with age so just keep an eye on those uh, medusa worm is also a card it's kind of like a worse manager bug but other than that it's fine uh nothing to talk about here spell stopping statute is a fine counter trap if bell starts playing more continuous spells but other than that no oh there's our first spark man and the dd survivor i think dd survivor might be more important if we go back to chaos there's an avion not much else Yeah, it might be important, might not be. There's another copy of Flame Wingman. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. There's Ancient Gear Beast. Um, that can be fine-ish. I don't know. There's another one. Card of Sanctity, the card that's a whole lot better than... Card's a whole lot better in the anime than it is in real life, because holy hell. Because you basically see, you basically CED yourself, and then Pot of Greed. Which is not a good trade-off. This is not a good trade-off. At all. Um, we're coming up on the last five packs, and there really isn't much. I'm looking for, there's, there's one of the Sphinxes. Uh, Cryo Sphinx. Which we could hit off of giant rat that is possible it's only got 1200 attack um last pack anything in the close no um i don't think this set was gonna change anything jesus we only pulled three hollows and they were in two of them were dupes um hmm I mean, we gotta place it if all the heroes, which is fine. Apparently, two of you. Um, but other than that, I don't really see a need to respin. We also got three plays a place out of hero signal. That's actually pretty good. Um, I don't really see a need to respin this at all. So we're just gonna add this to the collection, and we're gonna see what we can do for deck building. All right, second verse, same as the first. Let's do this. There's a DD survivor. Okay. Rayshef the alt, the dark being in the ulti. There's a second DD survivor. Okay, we're keeping this. I like this. Sometimes all it takes is a respin to get what you want in life. Because that was literally the one card I wanted from this pack. The ulti grave hoja, however, is not what I wanted to see. Brain control. I'll take two though. That's some icing on the cake. A I'm not seeing this right, right? It's not a second. That wasn't a second Ray Chef. That wasn't a third Ray Chef. Okay. I guess sometimes you pull almost everything other than the Mega Rock. And even if I don't pull the Mega Rock, I'll live. Because I've got 2D. This isn't real, right? This. This is a weird timeline that we've entered into, everyone. Okay, I mean, add to collection. We got the 2DD survivor. Let's see what we can do. I don't think anything's going to change. Okay, so... Lost Millennium really didn't do anything for our pool. Because, thinking about it... Throwing in Cryo Sphinx probably wouldn't be the best idea. So... We're just going to keep the list as is for now. Um, maybe we get something in the following set, which I think might be another... It's either another core set or it's another reprint set. Not positive on that one. But, yeah, no, list is exactly the same as last time, so let's get into Lost Millennium. I did do exactly one change to my deck. I said last episode that I thought about cutting Imp Order because it wasn't really putting in work currently, and... 
it just wasn't being worth it. So I did end up cutting that from the deck. Other than that, it's mostly the same. Let's see how we do this time. All right, here we are for the Lost Millennium. Tell me, did your deck change at all? The Lost Millennium changes nothing. It changes nothing. This set has DD Survivor, and that's like it. Yeah, my deck literally like did not change. Yeah, I all. think I changed one card in my deck that I mentioned in the last episode that I would probably do, and that was it. You know what card it was. <laughs> Damn it! I am meta gaming now. Damn it! I'm like over Actually, six. I'm picking it random. It hasn't helped me. I assure you that it hasn't helped me. <laughs> Oh wow, you're down to what is it? Forty five again. You're back down to forty five. Oh my god. Hey, I told you I would cut one specific card from my deck last game, and I did. I'm All a right. person of my word, if anything. Alright, time to go back and check the footage. Before Don't worry. Before I do that. <laughs> it's a card that I've activated a few times, but it's proven Oh import more harm than good for the most part. Oh, import. Yeah. Yeah, in any of the formats that we've been playing, we've mostly been playing creature-heavy formats, so Imp Order just hasn't been that good. If we enter into a more spell-heavy format at some point, it'll probably come back, but until then, it'd be like that. I, why do you keep sniping my Night Assailants? <laughs> you keep sniping my Night Assailants. This is a pretty shitty assailant. 14 hit. <laughs> Declare effect of ultimate offering. Oh, uh, so I, we're gonna act like I didn't declare that attack then, because this is at the beginning of my battle phase. <laughs> Immediately to or summon giant rat. Hmm. Is it worth it to get the dark engrave? Probably not. I finally get to use ultimate offering, baby. Let's go. Huh. Hmm. Oh, is this the eroded text as well? Probably. Because in the original text, either player can summon. Hold up. Let me let me go read ultimate offering real quick. Can you vote? Can is it vote? Yeah. Hold up. Let me let me look up that first errata. Here we go. Yeah. And also, in the original text, you can't activate it during my battle phase. Uh, Biscuit. I don't know this card. Yes, had, uh, the original this, text. I don't know this card had an errata. Oh, this card has like four erratas. What? Yeah. This card has been eroded a bunch. The original text states, at the cost of 500 life points per monster, a player is allowed an extra normal summon or set. So, you could activate that during your main phase next turn, and then we can both normal summon or set, paying 500 apiece for each normal summon or set. Well, Biscuit. Uh, the first errata doesn't happen until the Machina structure, SD7. Then the second errata is, I think, in Champion Pack 4. Good lord. And then the third errata is Duelist League 13. And then Machine Revolt is the last errata. Also, like, this card's been banned for a while, it seems like. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it keeps receiving erratas. <laughs> okay, so you do still take 1,400. Yep. Uh... That ultimate offering goes back face down. I don't, unless you want me to be able to summon. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Actually, I guess you can activate on that that on my turn. Would you like to keep that on field? Yeah, fuck it. Actually, you know what? Nah. I've already, it's already done damage count. I'll, All right. I'll, wait, I'll just wait for my turn. All right. Will you now? This is my bed, and I've chosen to sleep in it. Oh, I sniped the shoot! Okay! 
All right. <laughs> this is the bed I made, and I've chosen to sleep in it. In your defense, there's no way you would have known. Actually, are you doing this in my end phase or your standby phase? My standby phase. Then in your standby phase, I also activate it. Like, go ahead. Uh. Oh, these are all valuable targets, is the problem. Uh-huh. If I don't choose Giant Rat, you summon Pyramid Turtle, go into Ryukoki. Which is fine, though, because I've still got Mobius. All you can really do is spin your wheels, unless... I guess if you've got Nimble Mwanga, you can use it to build back up your life points. Which is probably your best bet right now. Hmm. Actually... You can search Exiled Force off of Giant Rat. Have you already you used want... Exiled Force? You've already used Exiled Force. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, you want to take a look at you want to... <laughs> Did you forget the first turn of the game? So I guess really anything is an alright target right now. Get rid of my manga just to prevent you from rebuilding life points. Biscuit. I feel like that was the correct option. It's either rat or pyramid turtle. Uh, doesn't really matter which one it is. Fuck. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to click. Ah, oh, perfect. No, no, no. Keikaku no, Dore. No, no, no. Let's see here. You set that, I guess. 2400 direct. Mm. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's a fantastic draw. First of all, flip Summon Magician of Faith. Oh, come on! Add Nobleman back to hand. Nobleman, your face down. Damn it! Rematch. Uh. Special Summon the Shining Angel. Take 800. 24. 14. You have 100 life points. Live the dreams. Well, that doesn't do anything. Yay! Oh. Are you gonna attack my magician? Oh. How dare you. <laughs> You're just happy to get the magician out of your face. <laughs> The gall like, of that. I feel like this duel could. These duels can really go either way. Fucking bullshit, Aratus. I will <laughs> say, Ultimate card. Offering benefits me right now. On a banned card. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> of course, I'm going first. <laughs> Ooh. Recoup the the BS that happened. Okay. Go ahead, take your turn. We're out here living our best life. That set took forever. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Oh, I just thought it was dueling book. Pot of greed. Ah. Sometimes you open it. That activate this. Why do I keep opening Rhoda? I think I know what I'm banning next time. Is it Rhoda? Maybe. Rhoda has saved my ass so many times. You know, I know what it is, but I don't it like. Could it. be anything. Truthfully, it could be anything. Force it. Cyber Jar, let's go! Not what I was expecting. I was expecting a uh, Night Assailant. We all expect the Night Assailant. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, 
Oh, that's not the correct button. Oh! I'll happily take this nice, uh, draw five. I didn't, yeah, I, I did a draw five as well. Alright, main phase two. Pot of three. Go for it. So many cards in my hand, so little time. Same, though. Is that it? Uh. Pre mat. Jackie break. Okay. Alright, so I've actually got options, weirdly enough. Go ahead and thin down the cards in my hand. Forceful sentry. Jesus fucking Christ. I guess the correct option is definitely Pyramid Turtle. I thought it was gonna be Ryu Koki, honestly. It I was considering it, but you've got two of them in your hand. If I were to spin back one Ryukoki, the second would simply stare me in the face. Ah, that's fine. And ah. that's not an ideal situation for me to be in. That's fine. <laughs> Woo! Take your thousand. Uh, let's see here. There is a correct option here. First, summon Shining <laughs> Angel. Okay. Nothing? Okay. B banish a light in the dark? Okay. Wind blast. Okay. Two top of deck. That's kind of fine with me. Alright. I almost clicked end. I can attack. Signing it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, come on. Do -do 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 -do. This is torture. What do I feel? Okay. <laughs> I wonder what my draw is. Uh. So, tributes for Mobius, target your two back row? Damn it! Oh, that is fantastic. Okay. Damn it, I was literally gonna be using that. Attack your face down with Mobius? Fuck you, it's Spirit Reaper. Of course it's Spirit Reaper. Uh... Oh, wait. You know what I can do? Main 2, target Spirit Reaper with Compulse, which destroys it. Actually, does it That wouldn't have worked actually, if it was still face actually, down. Actually, does it destroy it? Yes. Because it's after because... resolving a card effect. Oh! It... After resolving, so I guess it goes back to your hand instead. Yeah, it's, wait, wait a minute. Either way, kind of works for me. Right, this is game two. Okay. I was confused for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, normal summon the garden fresh produce? Fantastic, but I do have them. I wish I had ideas. Oh, that's actually based. First of all, Dark Horse. Uh, There's that Reaper. Can you guess what I'm about to do? 
light and a Banish dark. a light <laughs> and a dark. Special summon chaos. Sword. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine by me. No! Not in defense. No, no, not in defense. <laughs> okay. And I've still got a normal, technically. But why would I use it? Didn't you just. Direct. Did you summon the tomato? Uh, no, that was last turn, wasn't no. it? I think so. Yeah, because uh, I hit you with the garden fresh produce. Oh, yeah. Get bonked. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold up. I swear Hold to up. God. No, not I again. My body. <laughs> no, you missed it this time. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> you literally missed it this time, you piece of shit. No. <laughs> Once. Oh, that's, you get, that's... You get one that's of those. Enough. You know, that's kind of fine. Uh, hmm. So, like I said, get bonked. Let's see. Oh, no. Pay five. <coughs> Where's the ball? Ball is life. Where is my, where are my balls? <laughs> my dog talking to me after the vet. Oh wait, so you it takes get six hundred. Yeah, I don't know why. Eight thousand. Yep. All the mangas are in play somehow. Wait, is that all? So you, do you only have two mangas? The third is in my hand. Oh, this has been a rough game for me. The disrespect of Shine Ball Direct. <laughs> you know, that's kind of fun. Why didn't I activate this last turn? Because it was a thousand life points. Yeah. You're gonna make me take five? You're gonna make me take five. I'm gonna make you take five. I forgot you have two of these. Forgot I had two until I drew it. That was the god draw. I remember this time. Damn it. That's fine by me. You're still taking 1500. That's fine. Cause I'm about to take a lot more than that. No! No! Can you? I guess you can bring back uh, Chaos Orc. Oh yeah, must be. Must first be. Wait. Must first be. So yeah, never mind. This does work. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm <laughs> oh, Dim fusion. When Jesus dim fusion goes off, it really Christ. goes off. Christ. Oh. We're back in it. Uh, I. We're back where? In it. Where? Why did I do that? Yeah, I think you just got unlucky that time. I literally more drew than anything else. none of my rats. What the fuck? No rats. How did you... You've got, got so back. many rats. You've got three rats and so many ways to get to rats. My opening hand was garbage. I just oh. could not get any. Sometimes you just brick. I mean, Sometimes. I did last game. And yeah. the last episode, dang. <laughs> so, you know what's next? What is next? Dark Beginnings 2. Yo, what? Dark Beginnings 2 before Cybernetic Dark... Revolution. Start before Cybernetic Revolution. DB2, isn't it? Uh huh. And then, oh. then Cybernetic Revolution, followed by Dark Revelation 2. No way. Uh -huh. Okay, we are we are out here. Is there what's in DB2? Um, DB2 is pretty much almost a lot. Is it IOC? Old... No, that's Dark Revelation 2. Um, DB2 introduced a lot of the promos. 
that have been releasing at the time, like a lot of the tin promos and like other things like that. Um, Graceful Charity is also in there as well. Okay. Um, I looked through it. There's some decent stuff in there. Might be worth doing a redo or tick or respin on. Yeah. So, so also, yeah. No. Do you remember what we talked about between episodes? Kind of. About a certain card in TP6. No. No. I pulled two of them. No. You did not. I pulled, I pulled two of them. You pulled two last turns? I pulled two last turns. Jesus. Are they in my deck? No. <laughs> That'll be when I feel like I can afford it. <laughs> oh, God. Because yeah, no. that strategy is so janky. Yeah. But yeah, no, join us next time. Where it's Dark Beginnings, Volume 2.